20 to 9 and this is the earliest we've been packed up and on the road, it's I think. Over. Jesus Christ. Oh, cars, they're idiots. They drive on the other side of the road. Anyway, we've just left. We just had like a one night stop over in the town of Hamilton. Um, and now we are on our way to Queenstown. So it's about just over a two hour drive normally, but because we're towing, we're going a little bit slower and there are a lot of windy roads from Derwent Bridge to Queenstown. It'll probably take us about three hours. Um, so we're gonna stay at a free camp. I haven't worked out which one exactly is near Lake. Um, for a couple of nights so we can explore Queenstown and Strawn tomorrow. Um, and then we're gonna head up to Tula or Tulla and use that as a base to then go and explore Cradle Mountain and stuff. So we went yesterday, we drove an hour to the Creepy Crawly Nature Trail, which was like a tiny little moss-covered enchanted berry forest. It was really nice. Um, there was like a little timber boardwalk thing up with the footage here that we took. Um, but it was, yeah, it was really nice. So we came back, we went to, um, yeah, <laughs> Ted's doing his learning, I think. Um, we went to, okay. Okay. We went to, the, um, there was like public toilets and public showers. So it was like a dollar for five minutes of hot water. So um, we had some showers, we dumped the toilet, Ted had a bit of a play on the playground, um, and then we went back to camp, had a fire, had some pastina for dinner, and yeah, packed up this morning. We got up early to watch the sunrise, because where we stayed was like, you could, the view was at the top of a hill, like looking onto this massive lake, and um, the sun rise, rose, rosen? rose sun rose over the other side of the lake directly where we were looking so i set my alarm and woke up early so that i could catch the sunrise on a time lapse which i will put here
so after a while obviously people you know got a little bit frustrated um, which I mean is understandable but as we got onto the long stretch of road when they all passed us they all were like giving us the bird and like slow clapping out their windows and stuff at us like mm, dicks and anyway we, and we gave like one of the one that was directly behind us yeah I gave you plenty of opportunities on over, like where they were overtaking lanes I slowed yeah. right down yeah even indicated like moved which, over which to is, the left side of the road and we now, they did not yeah. choose to pass. We now know that that's a legal order. Uh, no, you're, not meant to do, you're not meant to do it. It's indicate with like, you know, put your blinker on three times or whatever when it's safe for them to pass. You're not meant to do it. But we didn't know that at the time. So we did that yesterday. We gave them opportunity. We slowed right down. They didn't take the opportunity to overtake us. So that's so, on them. Which held up more yeah. people and then more people yeah. with an overtake. Yeah, so but I'd like to see those dicks trying to tow three tons uphill. With their quick. first, yeah, their first, like, their first run of towing. Honestly, in it, but it doesn't even. It doesn't even have to do with like having being our first sort of like time. Well, not time. We've been on the road for like two months. Like car like towing or anything. Like we were. No, no caravan this size would be able to do that road at the speed limit. It is dangerous. Not a, Not a chance. When the speed limit's like friggin' 80 around bends and shit like that, there is absolutely no way someone with a caravan of our size and our weight Even the pulling, like, even the areas that they had for like pulling over. Yeah. Weren't, weren't they long weren't, enough yeah, they weren't big enough. To fit a caravan and yeah. a car. Not at all. So, yeah, that was awesome. People can be pricks. Um, sort of um, affected Nick's confidence a little bit but he's since been told by a couple of people not to worry about it some people are just jerks and we're doing the right thing we're traveling safely we're traveling slowly um, and two, two kids under five got two kids back. under five in the back but you know one of the blokes that we spoke to said you know we're, we're doing them a favor because if we weren't going slow and making them go slow they could potentially go Engine fast and you go off the edge Engine of a cliff or something or injure someone else so you're welcome dicks in cars behind us saved your life <sighs> thank you for coming to my TED talk <laughs> okay we have just pulled up at Lake Rosebury camp Rosebury um, it's just off the, I think the Murchison Highway. Um, look at that view. Amazing. Um, so it's a nice little camp. There's probably, um, there's one other full size caravan in here. A camper trailer's just pulled up and then there's a couple of cars in different areas that have got um, rooftops. So it's not overly busy. Um, we've got our own nice little section that I'll show you in a second when we get back over there. We've, um, it's sort of like a little secluded area that we've set up all our stuff and around the fire and that'll keep the kids contained which is good. Um, and we've just come down here to do some fishing. Apparently there's some... Do you mind? I'm trying to talk. Apparently there's some um, rainbow trout in I'm here. Trying so. Find... I'm trying to find a Ted's apparently trying to find little lobsters in the yeah, lake. Um, really yeah, hopefully we can catch some and have some trout for dinner. Bites? There's flies and bumblebees That's everywhere. Nice. Not complaining about the bumblebees though. Hi. <laughs> we have come out to spend the day at Cradle Mountain. We. Um, woke up well, we woke up early and Nick went and did a bit of fishing stuff this morning and then we've come out to Cradle Mountain which is I think it was ended up being just under an hour from where we're staying um, we have got on the shuttle bus at the visitor information center and come to the final stop which is Dub Lake um, there's a photo that is on my bucket list to take which I'm very excited about which is the um, the boathouse on Dub Lake so I will probably insert that somewhere here to show you the photo that I end up taking. But we just got off the bus and on the little boardwalk towards, see that's 
Hunter Cradle Mountain and um, Dove Lake's just at the bottom over that way a little bit. Ted, what animals are you hoping we see? A kidney, All of the animals. Uh, <laughs> <elephants>. What? <laughs> elephants? I don't think there's going to be any elephants here.